Hey everybody, what's up? It's TJ. You guys, today we are canning homemade chocolate syrup. And I've done a video on this before, but this time I'm doing it a little bit different. So I'm going to show y'all my recipe. This is my recipe, and you see the adjustments over here. Please screenshot this if you'd like. Water bathe it for 10 minutes. Okay, here we go. All right, on medium heat, six cups of water. We need nine cups of sugar, okay, nine. I might get it in there. If you wanna do a little less, you can do that. That's fine, that's up to you. Okay, and we're just going to melt that. And it says to do it for about three minutes, stirring, you know, just melting the sugar. It takes about three minutes. Meanwhile, you guys, I've already sterilized my jars. I have them staying warm in the oven. My bands are sterilized. Everything is sterilized and ready to go. I have my water here heating up to do the water bathing with. So, in three minutes, I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I have the sugar melted into the water. Now, here's the trick here, the, the change. Okay, not the tricky, but the change. The cocoa, cocoa, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> I do half Hershey's, y'all see that? Three cups of Hershey's and half Nestle, three cups of Nestle. Y'all, it tastes so much better. You have no idea how much better this tastes. It is so good. And I'm gonna need also one and a half teaspoons of salt. actually really easy to make y'all so there's my one and whoops my half <clears throat> that's done don't be looking at my mess up there y'all I got a mess anywho and we're just gonna stir this until it um thickens and you do it on medium heat takes a little bit to get it all incorporated. If you want, you can use a whisk. I think I'll actually do that. See that? See the clumps? I don't know if you can see that or not, but anyhow. Y'all are not gonna believe the the difference in the taste. Mixing the two together is this really good. I had somebody try it before when I made it, and they said it was the best syrup they'd ever ate or had. Okay. So, I'm going to let this cook for a bit, 
and I'll be back. All right, y'all, so I'm back. This is ready for the next step. I have my water boiling here. I'm taking my jars out of the oven. Note to the gloves. Okay, let me turn my table around. And I'll fix this in just a second to where y'all can see everything. Even my dirty kitchen. Anywho, everything's ready to roll. I'm going to set this over here off of the heat. Okay. I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. That's it. It's done. Turn my oven off. Okay. So I'm gonna get it into the jars. And I've done seven jars just in case I needed it. So that's what that's for. Get it as close as I can. You know what? It's probably gonna be easier for me to just pour it in there. So let's try that. That's what I'm used to doing anyway. a little bit left and that is why I do have an extra jar. Okay. And after that cools, I'll just put that in the refrigerator. I'm not even going to process it. Okay, now we are going to get the lids on. Oh, I almost did it y'all. I almost did it. We gotta get air bubbles out and wipe the rims. I bet a bunch of y'all just street. I was jumping ahead, wouldn't I? I'm excited, y'all. It's chocolate, so yeah, I get ahead of myself. All right, so I have a little bit of vinegar here because we're dealing with a whole lot of sugar. Let me get a pack of towel. It's just regular old vinegar. I'm gonna wipe my rims. I'm not gonna worry about this one. This is going directly into the refrigerator. You see? Y'all, my son is standing behind the camera doing funny things to make me laugh. I'm not going to tell y'all what he's doing. And he's making faces at me. Alright, so I'm going to get 
my first three rolling. Get my bands on. Finger tight. And you guys don't worry about making a mess. You see mine? Usually it's a lot worse than that. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in straight into my boiling water. And it covers it just perfect. And let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and put a lid on it. We're gonna do it for 10 minutes. And there's that. And while that's starting, I'm gonna go ahead and get my other ones ready to go in. I'll find a lid for that here in a minute. I'm not that concerned about it. That's ready to go in. All right, so let me roll this out of the way. Brandon, you wanna try some of this chocolate? Yeah, I'm good. Now see this? Telling you, do the half and half. Mmm. Ooh, I better stop now, y'all. Mmm, that is so good. Anyway, the reason why I do this is mostly for me. Okay, I like to make my own mocha frappes. So I'm hoping here real soon. Maybe even tonight. I don't know. It depends on if I can go to sleep or not. I'm going to show y'all how I do my own mocha frappes. Yeah. But anywho. So I'm going to pause this. We're going to let this finish. I'm going to take it out. And that'll be it. I'll be right back, you guys. All right, y'all. So this is ready to come out. It's been 10 minutes. I'm just going to take it out. And place it here. And I'm going to put my next one in. Put the lid on. Oops. And it's timing now. You guys, something I need to tell y'all that y'all should never do. You're taking jars out of your canner. No matter if you're water bathing or pressure canning, it doesn't matter when you're taking your jars out. When you're using one of these, a lot of times when you pick them up, you automatically want to tip them to the side to get the water off the top. Don't do that, okay? It's not good, don't do it. Because it is not sealed yet. So this one just sealed, I'm waiting on these two to seal. Because it hasn't sealed yet, there's still a chance that you're about to really mess your work up. So just don't tilt them when you do that to get the water off. Just let the water be there. When you take these bands off, then you can clean them up and all that stuff. So, yeah. Y'all hear that? There went another one. That's it, you guys. I will talk to y'all later. You guys have an awesome day. Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.